And we're back to Dark Souls 3. Welcome back. You know, my friend was asking me, hey, what's this game about? What's the goal in this game? And you know, that's actually a pretty good question. When you jump into this, there's really very little information given. And it pretty much stays that way unless you really chase after the story. And so we'll try to talk some NP to some NPCs here and see what the deal is. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> so most of these folks give us the impression that they're all in the same boat as we are. And we don't know exactly what we're meant to do just yet. He mentions things like linking the fire, but really it isn't clear at this point. What a sick joke. We're talking true legends. Those... And the thing is, you can play through the entire game and not really understand what's going on. A pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes, I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away, Ashen One. Fetch souls and bring them to me, as is thy want, no? <laughs> so here's a merchant. I don't think there's anything we want to buy straight out. We're probably gonna buy a white sign soapstone. This allows us to do some co-op. I actually have a friend that might jump on for a couple episodes as a guest. I think we're good for now. Ashen one, be sure to bring more souls. <laughs> the other interesting merchant is um, the armorer. Or well, a newcomer, smith. I see. The blacksmith. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith. Forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I'd wager. You'll require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. So talking to these dudes, they kind of give us a little bit of a, a framework for what we're doing. We're looking for these Lords of Cinder which presumably are powerful beings. And the blacksmith allows us to obviously upgrade our weapons. We don't have much to speak of. Pretty up. be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> don't have much to speak of in terms of weapons right now. What we do have is the magic Astus flask, which we don't ah, need. It is good, wasn't it? So one thing this guy does is allows you to uh, assign the amount of different Estus. So the one on the left is health versus the one on the right. It's like magic power, I guess. MP. Also allows us to Pretty enforce... I don't want to <laughs> reinforce our Estus once we pick up the adequate items. Let's talk to a couple more dudes. As we progress more people will be added to to this hub and each NPC has their thing it's either like a, a little side quest or maybe they're a merchant or maybe they teach you some discipline like spells could be pyromancy could be miracles there's also a dude up there Whoa. All that unkindled. 
and a seeker of lords. I am Ludleth of Corland. Look not in bewilderment as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child corpse. This sad cadaver, no need to be coy. Have a closer look. Knowest thou of our purpose? Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast-fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is, I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. So now, now. this guy produces boss weapons. So when you kill bosses, you get their souls and that allows you to craft weapons. So let's go into the first area here. We can see talking to these guys that our goal is to link the fire. And this is a theme throughout all of the Dark Souls games, really. This idea that there's a primordial fire in the world that keeps it as it is. And the idea that this fire is going out and we're one of the people trying to uh, to link the fire. And so like to keep it alive, preserve the world as it is. And in order to do that, we got to defeat these Lords of Cinder. And this is the first area we go into. One of the things in these games... Um, is you got these awesome sights. Well, one of the things that really pulls me in. And many times you can actually visit all of the locations you can see. This time, I don't think that's the case, but... Still a, a cool location. This is a, a, a big PvP location, so you'll see a lot of streamers just stand here in like a fight club setup where two people are fighting and then other people are watching. Let's grab our first bonfire. Of course, the, the bonfires are uh, like your checkpoints. You come, if you die, you go back to the bonfire you prior you you rested at prior. Forgive me if you know all of this, but uh, I'm gonna say some of these basic things in case somebody watching is new to the games. Alright, well, I think we want to go the other way first. Again, I don't really remember the locations that well. But really the idea here is that... Rather than having a very specific goal in the game, you're just thrust into this world. And you gotta kind of survive, really. And slowly figure out what's going on. What was up here? Can't remember what was up here. Just a lovely place, isn't it? Yeah, I can't quite remember what's going on in this place. Let's just explore it. Oh, look at that. That is a nasty surprise. Binoculars. Don't believe we can open this door.
Okay, well. Let's drop down here. Gold pine resin. That's pretty good. That's something you can uh, apply to your weapon and deal bonus damage. So we drop in here. We can clearly see there are guys waiting for us. And to my surprise, we didn't actually kill this dude. You can see how easily you can just drop if you start taking hits. Okay. So this... We just kind of went around a little bit. Oh yes, I remember this place. Look at this. Yes, that was a motherfucking dragon. <laughs> and those guys are a little nasty actually. They have a lot of range. Let's see if we can. There we go. Let me bring the volume down a little bit here. So yeah. <laughs> there is a dragon. So we'll grab that loot later. Can't remember exactly if there was a way to kill the dragon or not. Be wary of monster. Oh, okay. So this is something nasty. Sometimes the chests will be monsters. Whoa. If they grab you, that's a wrap right there. Uh, whoa! Well, that was a wrap anyways. Well. There's our first death of the day right there. Those guys are strong, man. That's okay. In terms of weapons, I'm okay with the sword. As in, I'm, I'm happy going for a sword. But I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. See, that's nasty as well. You can hit the wall like that. See if we can burst this guy down. There you go. Oh. Got him. Alright, so we're almost back to where we were, really. And the chest monsters are nasty, man. They're strong. They're really strong. Now the thing is, I don't know if I can run straight through or not. Let's try it. Uh, it's not gonna work because the dragon is there already. We do get him to kill all the dudes for us. 
unfortunately we also aggroed this guy look at that that is a nasty enemy man he's got some sick range on him get him with the kick I think the fire can still burn you down there. Yup. Let's try running through here. Don't bother about the loot. So, we gotta be careful if we die now. It means we won't be able to... Uh, to go back to our corpse. And yes, I remember there was a strong enemy here. Oh. This guy is is tough, man. close oh almost got him yeah we all played him this guy is pretty difficult he's got some strong attacks and lots of stamina can we open this nope not from this side okay well we'll see what that is later For now, keep going. Always remember, watch every corner, because there are some nasty surprises. Uh, before we go here, I think there's a bonfire up here. Yeah. So when you rest at the bonfire, again, going over some basic stuff. When you rest at the bonfire, you respawn all the enemies in the area. Look at that dragon. We could probably snipe him if we had a, a bow. It would probably take us the entire day, but it can probably be done. Let's not aggro the knight. Not particularly interested in fighting him. Whoa. Rush this guy. See if we can grab this loot here. I mean, you can clearly see it's designed to be like a sort of a trap. I think we're gonna be alright here. So, these guys are pretty fast. But as long as you don't get staggered by lots of attacks, you should be fine can't exactly remember what's down here. Okay, so we got one of these strong enemies. Thought we were going to be able to backstab there. Got him. The range on those guys is pretty insane. <clears throat> and so you gotta watch out. What? These barrels blow up, so... I'm a little bit... Scared. Yeah, look at that guy. Alright. Trying to get the, the mechanic of the backstab a little bit down. Because it's a little tricky sometimes. Oh. Mail breaker, huh? Cannot open the door either. Illusion ahead? Nope. Rate down. It's a 
poor message. Okay. It's locked. Okay, we'll come back later. That's another NPC that we unlock for the hub. Well, I missed this one. Throwing knives. You know what? Might as well equip that. And why don't we... Put the soapstone there in case we want to play some co-op. What's up with this door? It's locked. Okay, so really there's just nothing down here for us right now. Let's keep moving. Look at that. Sneaky fucks. You know, I kind of like the move set of of the sword. I think it's a good move set. So, I think we're going to run here. Because I'm not terribly interested in fighting that guy. God. And I forgot to grab my souls. <laughs> Alright, well. That just happened. I obviously didn't want to drop down there. So you can see there, if you don't manage your stamina well, you run out of stamina, you can't attack, you can't defend. Bad news. Okay, so we're back here. I don't think these guys actually attack. So we'll do our best. I don't know if we can rush this guy. Yeah, nice. We'll grab this. Try to grab the lizard. We got him. So these lizards give you gems that allow you to upgrade your weapon. Nothing really up here for us. Keep heading down. Always watching the stamina. Okay. Got through it, kind of. Standard bolt. There's like a whole area there that we might want to explore, but I think first we're gonna go down here. Oh! It's really comfortable to, to have a shield. Again, last time I didn't. And it's just a lot easier to 
to have access to a shield. So this is uh, an enemy I'm gonna avoid right now. Because I think there's a bonfire close. And so... I'm gonna try to grab that. Maybe I got it wrong. I thought there was a bonfire close by. Oh no. Yeah, we had to unlock the shortcut to get here. It's a little bit of a nasty ambush. Excuse me, you stunned me? All right. Yeah, I don't think we can go up here right now, as it is. I mean, we can go up, but I believe the door is locked. From the other side. At least we get to grab some throwing knives there. Oh! We actually didn't lock it. Okay, so this is a shortcut that we can use later. So I guess we can try to take on the, the fat guy there. He's a tough enemy, man. But we'll see what we can do. What is over here? I wonder if I can make this jump. Huh. Nice. Ring of sacrifice, huh? What do you think? Should we take him on? Let me at least show you his skill set. We also have some bombs. But they don't... They don't do too much damage. Here's where it gets nasty when... Whoa! Uh, I thought it was safe from that. Yeah, he's got some strong attacks. Also doesn't help. There's a skeleton there. Where is this guy? There he is. Nice backstab. Well, I disagree. I think I actually dodged it, but you know. Oh, that attack. Get him. Ooh. He's tough. He's tough. Well, I think that's maybe a good place to stop for today. We've had our mandatory death of the episode. We got some... Some new stuff, actually. What's this rapier like? Let's check it out. I think uh, usually my thing with weapons is whether or not I like the move set more than the actual damage. This one has this interesting skipping a jump here. I, I kind of like the rape here. But with our build, I prefer something l more like a, a, a bigger sword. <laughs> not trying to compensate for anything, but you know. Anyways. I think this is a good place to stop. So we'll continue next time. Thanks for joining me on this one. If you enjoyed the episode, let me know down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.